Welcome back to John Cleese Car Audio's YouTube channel. My name is Max. I'm going to give you a little run round the Alfa Romeo Mito that I have right here behind me. This is a 2016 model, come with standard radio. Didn't really have many features apart from FM radio. And we have now fitted the new Kenwood DMX8021 into this little beast. And also a little reverse camera. The reverse camera is just mounted down the bottom here. That little flush camera is going to allow you to see everything going on behind you when you're reversing so you don't accidentally reverse into wall and cause any unwanted damages that you wouldn't want to do otherwise so let's hop into the vehicle and i'm going to give you a show what it looks like right here we are so as you can see we've used a nice surround which fits this car very nicely i'm going to turn on the ignition lovely Lovely, we've got a little complimentary boot up logo. We always try to do that on all of these Kenwood DMX 8021 stereos. These stereos have the capability to have a splash screen on boot up and having the manufacturer's logo, or you know, we'll personalize it to whatever logo may suit you. Um, but that just gives it a nice, uh, more OEM feel to it. Now, this stereo uh, boasts Apple CarPlay wireless, also Android Auto wireless. Um, you've got um, HDMI in, DAB, and those are the main features on why people would go for this head unit. You've also got a nice, lovely seven inch capacitive display. And currently at the moment at John Cleese, as a Kenwood Premier dealer, we're offering you a three year warranty when you have this head unit fitted. Now also in this car, it has steering wheel control. So we've kept the steering wheel controls working and also information on the factory system uh, for your parking sensors, no mileage flashing, nothing like that. That is not correct. Um, stereo sits just here. Let's give you a little whiz around the stereo. Apple CarPlay, clicking onto that, just going to boot into the CarPlay. If you have, if you don't know what Apple CarPlay is, everybody wants this. It is for your maps, music, your messaging, a much more safer and easier way of you using your phone while driving, which just integrates nicely. Now, Android Auto is very similar. It just works in a slightly different way. It looks a bit different. It looks more like your Android phone, as this obviously looks like an Apple phone. Um, you know, you've got your phone, you can got your favorites, your recents, contacts, keypad, check your voicemail, or uh, depending on what music app, you've got Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. I use Tidal personally. Messages, you can't read off the screen because uh, that wouldn't be safe to do while driving, but if a message comes in, you can click on it, it will read out the notification, and then uh, you can reply with your voice. It's real nice and easy to send a text while driving. Uh, other apps you've got are DAB apps, if you can't get any DAB. We have got a DAB aerial on this window, just in the corner here. Don't really notice that um, once you've looked at it after the first time. Uh, you do have radio players, stuff like that, which can cover you if you're in an area which is very bad for DAB. Um, Tidal, you know, this is my music streaming service. I can get my home, my recents, I can explore or go into my collection. I've got different playlists that I can play through. And yeah, all my music's in here, very nice and easy to use. Or WhatsApp message, you can use uh, WhatsApp messages and reply to them from this head unit as well. But that is basically the head unit, pretty brief run through. Um, the dab looks a little bit like this. You got your presets down the side here, and then you've got a search icon where it allows you to search for any radio station you want, find the radio station you need, click on it like so. It's gonna start playing. And then to save it in, you just hold down that and then until it beeps. Lovely, so that is a new radio station saved in just like that. Now reverse camera, you're probably wondering, Pretty straightforward. Put the car into reverse. And our reverse camera image comes up. Oops, sorry, I missed the reverse. There we go. Lovely, so reverse camera, this little flush camera on the back of the vehicle. It's very nice, neat and discreet and it gives us a good view behind you. Sorry, a bit of glare on the screen, causing some reflections there, but yeah, very nice image. We can see the wall coming up or anything around us, any low walls, posts, save money on damages to your car or other things around you. Get a reverse camera and you know you're going to be able to reverse with confidence. But yeah, that is everything for this brief video of the DMX 821 on this Alfa Romeo Mito 2016. Thanks for watching. If you've got a car that you want to add this to, get in contact with us. If, you want to, if you've got a car you want Apple CarPlay, get in contact with us. 
we will have a solution for you more than likely if <laughs> thanks for watching again take care and goodbye